Should be good. If you like to eat, go to a show, check out new window art. Why not? There's one guy driving all of that in downtown Minneapolis. There really is. We're talking the Ivy Awards, the Charlie Awards, the Made Here Initiative. His name is Scott Mayer. He also has his own company, Mayer, to represent profit and not-for-profit businesses. He's originated things like the One Man Project, which honors men doing work in the community, and Mosaic, which celebrates cultural diversity. Scott takes us behind the curtain to show us how he does it all as this week's Minnesota to Meet. Lights, camera, action. Well, I have no theater acting ability. Growing up in Roscoe, South Dakota, population 300, Scott Mayer had one bit part in Butterflies Are Free at age 14. Uh, I was in this play um, smoking a cigarette and wearing underwear. I don't remember exact role, but I remember that. And my mother came and was horrified. His first and last role, it certainly wasn't a curtain call for Mayer, especially once he moved to Minnesota after college. There are 76 professional theaters in the Twin Cities. I could go to a different show every week and still not even tap all the companies, not to mention all of the productions. Mayer tried a variety of jobs. I've been a lawyer, I've been a lobbyist, a uh, blackjack dealer, a uh, high school English teacher, uh, and uh, spent a considerable amount of time working at what was then Dayton's and, and Target Corporations. Even traveling far away. Also bartended in Mykonos, which was a pretty nice gig too. Before he was able to align his work with his passion. The Ivy Awards is celebrating our 10th anniversary. The annual non-nomination award showcases the best in the Twin Cities professional theater. The 90-minute show brings snippets of a variety of theater to the stage. And what we want at the end of the day is to have people walk out of the Ivy Awards and say, God, I got to see more theater. He also wants more people to see art in empty downtown storefronts. Well, I'm working for Hennepin Theater Trust. We are developing the new cultural district downtown. The project, called Made Here, is getting good reviews for filling space and showcasing local talent, but he sees much more growth ahead. The challenge is what's exciting um, uh, because I think that there's so far that we can go. Mayor sees the restaurant industry entering one of its most exciting times. It makes my head spin. I mean, there are more restaurants opening per week here than, than I would have ever imagined. It. That's why he developed the Charlie Awards four years ago, named after the legendary restaurant Charlie's Cafe Exceptionale, which was a mainstay in downtown Minneapolis until the 80s. The industry just seems to be getting better with more creative choices. Individuals are opening several different kinds of, of food service. And so somebody might start out by opening a food truck. Well, then the next year they're finding a permanent location and they're opening a restaurant. Then they're doing pop-ups. That's why Mayer's recipe for success is following his passion. Never before have we had so many great forms of entertainment downtown. Putting downtown Minneapolis on people's to-do list while celebrating how far the arts have already come. I just love how diverse his background mm -hmm. is, but his true love was always the arts, and now that's what he's doing. He went all in, and mm -hmm. he's really celebrating it, which I think is important. He said, you know, Minnesotans hate bragging about themselves, and really he developed these awards because he would travel for Target and Dayton's all over the country, and everybody else was celebrating what they had in their right. community, and mm -hmm. we didn't. And bragging gets the word out, too, which helps more concepts like this keep going. Exactly, and that's what he, he really credits the restaurant industry now. There's talk, and people want to yeah. go out. And, and want to eat out and the 2014 Ivy Awards which celebrates theater will be held on Monday September 22nd it's coming up at the State Theater there's a VIP party a whole bunch of other stuff that you can participate in so if you want information on that that's the first go around then the Charlie Awards later on and so on we've got the information at WCCO.com slash links it's cool he's also fostered discussions around all of these things too so it's not just awards but it's a community conversation which is cool yeah what do we want here yeah yeah good guy all right well